Hey everybody, Donovan Bankhead here. Got a fun trumpet to show you today. This is another one from our friends over at a AR Resonance. And this is a very special model that they designed uh, with trumpet phenom Sergei Nikirikov. And this instrument is just a delight. So I'm gonna walk through a few of the specs with you. You'll, you'll have to excuse some of the water spots and stuff on this. Uh, I've been playing this a fair amount to kind of check it out because I was very curious about it. I don't often get into like artist models, especially if there's an artist that I play nothing like. <laughs> if you've heard Sergey's playing, then you know like he's he can do all the things that I can't do, it seems. So, um, but when this came in, I was just really kind of amazed right off the bat about how well I got along with it. And I uh, really enjoyed playing. Matter of fact, I would say so far, this is probably one of my favorite all around AR resonance trumpets. So why is that? So a couple things. One thing, uh, Antonio and Sergey spent about two years developing this instrument, working back and forth, Sergey playing it in concert halls all across the world. Uh, and so this is what they ended up coming up with. So you have a nice five and a half inch bell for really beautiful broad sound. Uh, it's in bronze, which is just gorgeous, but also gives it a little bit of warmth. Uh, and then you have a machined nickel silver tuning slide, lightweight, or excuse me, lead pipe, and a lightweight tuni rounded tuning slide. And it's a little bit shorter than normal. And I t uh, talk about this being machined, uh, it's nickel silver. Normally when we are making lead pipes, we're drawing them. So they're taking essentially a piece of tubing and, and uh, out of stock and just drawing it out, which you'll end up with like thin spots and inconsistent spots. But when you machine it, you're starting with, you know, basically a block of nickel silver machining it. So it's much stronger and consistently sound. Um, you have the Ma valve block that, from uh, uh, the, our friends in Germany, where you've got like that open port. And I've got a whole video talking about why you should give a rip about any of that. So you can certainly check that out. Uh, it comes with the variable... Uh, mouthpiece receivers. This is currently number three, but it comes has one through five. Those are essentially like millimeters of gap. So if you want the, you know, hardly any gap at all, so that the horn's just like super like fluid, you can do that. Or if you like having lots and lots of gaps so that each note has like a big slot, uh, you can use number five or four. This happens to be at three. Mention the shorter tuning slide. Oh, and then the other thing is the Venturi is a little bit tighter. The Venturi is the narrow part of the lead pipe. Having that be a little bit tighter gives you a little bit more resistance up front. Sometimes when you get an instrument like this where it's got a big bell, like the instrument just feels big, even though it's just a medium large bore, it oftentimes will feel big, but having that slightly tighter Venturi actually just makes it feel like resistance wise, like a normal trumpet. Uh, but you've got big bell and the beautiful sound uh, that you have out of all of this. Uh, with the, this also does have the threaded mouthpiece receiver. So if you were to have a threaded back bore from our friends at AR, you can screw that in there for improved efficiency and response still. Again, I've got another video on that that you can check out. Uh, I do have additional valve caps if you want to add a little bit of weight. But that's the Sergei Nikirikov model, and it is absolutely stunning. One of my favorite AR trumpets to date so far. Uh, Sound-wise, I feel like it's a hard thing to compare uh, because it's really not quite like anything else. With that broad, big bell, you get this big, full, warm sound that fills a room. But with the lightweight tuning slide, the nickel-silver receiver, you get a little bit of sparkle on the top, and the instrument just like responds super, super fast. So uh, it's really nice for that. So. Uh, as of right now, as I'm making this video, this instrument's currently in stock, but if I'm ever out of stock of any of these, I can always get you, get you more. Uh, you can play this with any mouthpiece. Uh, it does always work great, of course, with any of the AR Resonance mouthpieces, but if you have another brand of mouthpiece that you prefer, uh, it will certainly work with anything. If you would like to get one of these for yourself, you can reach me at Donovan at springfieldmusic.com. That's D-O-N-O-V-A-N at springfieldmusic.com. And we are currently working on a new website, so maybe at some point when you're watching this, you'll be able to go to springfieldmusic.com and see this. But for the time being, email is your best bet.